What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Torque Drift. So this video is about that MX-5. We are going to do our crate build today. We have some crates stacked up, but it is also about Torque Drift is listening and this should prove it. So I know a lot of people have been complaining about the update where they couldn't control the car. And now we have the ability to change our driving style from other versions. So if this doesn't prove to you guys that Torque Drift is listening to what I'm saying, listen to what you guys are saying, listen to what everybody's saying, this should prove it right here. We got our stickers, we got our decals, and now we have different handling characteristics and driving styles. So I know a lot of people were complaining when the update came out, the last one about the driving. Well, now they've listened, they've given us the ability to go back and use whatever driving style we want. So like I said, today is going to be that crate build on this MX-5. And uh, it's been very anticipated. The red MX-5 chilling right there. And uh, 498 horsepower to start off. We're going to do 23 crates. See what kind of build parts we can get for this car. So we're going to just jump right into it and get this. Then we're going to get into those uh, those new those steering differences in the uh, driving response. Aftermarket suspension. Forged Motorsports coils. Those are definitely a good thing to have. Good thing to have some nice coils on the car. We're getting some more aftermarket tires, which, you know, I have plenty of tires, but you know, I have burned through a lot of tires recently, but we don't need that many. Aftermarket clutch, that's good, but apparently the car already had an aftermarket clutch, so we got money for it. So we're gonna aftermarket angle kit. It already has an aftermarket angle kit on it, apparently. So we probably should have checked what parts the car already came with from the when you bought it it knew it came with some parts but i didn't know it was all that stuff already and apparently we're just getting all tires with this build so if we need tires we have plenty of tires aftermarket turbo that's a good thing to get we did not already have that on the car luckily so we got an aftermarket turbo a little more uh a little more power in there some more tires i swear all i'm getting is tires and it's actually very sad yeah import turbo all right so now we're up in the game in the turbo gang so more flutter, more more of the flutter gang. 40, uh, 40 torque bucks. I call it torque bucks, but you know. And more tires. So very sad build so far with just tires and turbos. But I mean, the MX-5 is pretty good out of the box. So aftermarket ECU, which it already has in there. So I think this car is pretty much already aftermarket from out of the box, some more money. So this build is not going the greatest import suspension shockworks drift so now that's good to have and a little bit more upgraded suspension sad that we got two suspensions so far on this crate buying incident but uh we're not uh we're not getting uh, some very good uh very good pulls in these uh sponsor crates right now and i'm uh kind of sad but i guess we're gonna be rocking a almost stock uh mx5 import exhaust I say almost stock, but we did get aftermarket turbo and stuff like that too. Some more tires. So we have tires for days. I could, you know, run a tire warehouse if I needed to. We got more cash. And our final crate pull is going to be a aftermarket turbo, which we already got. So we did not get much good things out of this. So we do have the aftermarket turbo. We're going to bump that up to 11 PSI. We did lose the ability to sell our parts, which I believe they're going to put back into this, hopefully. And then we're going to leave that tune there. And then we got an aftermarket exhaust. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we are going to be rocking our aftermarket suspension or import suspension. I think we're going to leave it how it sits and just see how, uh, how she handles normally on the just... Oh, look. We've already maxed out our engine. So we got to put our uh, shockworks suspension in the rear. Get some new likes going on up in the, uh, and some new replies. So let's go check out the new likes and replies up in here. <clears throat> Looks exactly like full lock car. Oh, nice. Full lock 240. <laughs> A lot of people are liking the S15 build. So big thank you to all you guys and uh, Liking that S15 uh, 
livery, the new S15 livery, if you guys haven't seen it. This was the uh, new S15 livery decided to uh, drop in the game. So uh, we got a lot of uh, a lot of big name players in here liking this. And uh, we're just going to drop some likes. And uh, throw down some... Uh, throw down some uh, reply comments real quick to these guys big thank you to all you guys that are following me on the hub and uh you know definitely follow me on the hub if you are not already a follow me on the hub but i feel like if you follow me on the channel you probably follow me on the hub so we are going to get into all the changes that um the steering driving a like feel is oh we got a message where are we get a message from uh, I gotta get to this what did he say what did he say so one of the big players of torque drift one of the highest uh, influences in the hub right here big shout out to you Straya you know can unlock it let the Daves know so they can fix it so I can start representing evil rabbit empire big big shout out to you Straya for uh being a fan of the channel big thank you for following me and all of this in this torque drift endeavor i have contacted the devs about my sponsor and uh they are looking into it why it cannot be unlocked because i know there's a lot of people including me that want to get it unlocked all right so let's get into the nitty gritties of these basically the uh steering changes so we're gonna go to cali banks to test this car out and i believe right now we are on the smooth so we're gonna look how the biggest thing is is how the wheels react when you go into drift so this mx5 build is not a very powerful build but we are going to use it so if you look when i go in it pretty much it, it does a very smooth counter steer and there's not much uh steering input needed and this car actually handles pretty well out of the box except for angle kit lack thereof so if you notice the wheels are a very smooth transition and you can still counter out of it and still change the angle of the car via the brakes the handbrake and still have some steering left in the uh, car so we're gonna switch it to the other one and show you what the other ones look like because if you guys haven't really messed with these it's definitely a good thing to mess with because some tracks you should probably change the way your car um, handles and controls so now we are on the aggressive style which i found is uh a little uh a little twitchier where it doesn't counter as much and you it's meant for uh throwing more angle and the, it's easier to flick the car a lot harder because it doesn't counter as quick so if you've noticed that the wheel changes are not as dramatic or they are dramatic in a sense of uh they're meant to flick the car harder and be more of an aggressive style so it gives you that uh, ability to flick the car a lot faster so that's the aggressive style so I know a lot of people are gonna be running the smooth because I feel like the smooth was like almost the original version in a sense and uh, the aggressive style was more of the medium version I hit the wrong button so the final version is the version that a lot of people didn't like the unassisted version and that is because if you watch the wheels when we do this we're gonna take the start stop light with us if you watch the wheels once I start drifting they're gonna go straight to zero steer every time you get off the gas or every time you get off the steering so it's constantly going to zero steer because it's unassisted so that's why there was a lot of twitchiness because the car doesn't counter steer itself and uh, that's why a lot of people were having problems with the twitchiness of it so I found that smooth is a very good basic for nice smooth flowy lines obviously hence the name smooth and the uh, aggressive one is used for on some other courses where you need some uh, aggressive steering or quick uh, quick angle changes so that's what I found and that's what I find that works for me some people may like other things but I feel like we got this MX-5 built we should probably throw it into tandem and uh, see how it does because uh, the purpose of this build was to see how it does in a tandem situation and uh, we're going to give it a go and see how it goes once we find somebody to go with us 
We are in Grassroots 1, which is very weird for me to be Grassroots. But uh, you got to start somewhere on these new cars. So this MX-5 build, we didn't get much. We just got some uh, suspension, bigger turbo, and ECU and stuff like that. So we are kind of running bare bones, very low horsepower MX-5. But if you guys watched the live stream with uh, Panda and I, uh, we had a lot of fun in these lower horsepower cars. And Fernan also took a stock MX-5 out and uh, was just showing that you don't need a lot of power to make good runs. And, you know, that's the biggest thing. Everybody thinks you need such high-powered cars to make, you know, these amazing runs. You don't really need them. It helps, but, you know, like right here, Cali's beginning pretty much a bone, not bone stock, but very mildly tuned MX-5, 67,000 points. It's a very decent run. I could have been a lot higher on the bank, but I'm still getting used to the MX-5. So, of course, we're going to be doing more building on this MX-5. I do have a new project car that I am running right now that is kind of a, a secret car in the works. Um, if you guys follow the stream, you know I was building a Fernan killer because uh, Fernan, that ice-cold drifter that he is, I need to build a car that I feel could uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe against his uh, car. So we have been in the process of building a project, secret project car that I have not revealed yet. And we are going to be... Uh, Bring that out probably in a live stream. Some of you guys may catch it and practice when I'm tandeming with it. Um, so if you guys do catch it, you'll catch a glimpse of it. So kind of little slow little tandems right here. But uh, tandems nonetheless here in this MX-5. So a lot of big things in the update. I know there's a new sponsor, Siki Motorsports, came into the game. Um, I don't think the logo is fully loaded yet. Um, and for the people that are messaging me about my sponsor... I will get with the dev. I have messaged the devs. They are looking into why. I've tried it many a times to get my own sponsor. No penalties at the jump drift. It's it's been done. But there's something in probably going wrong in the the data transfer or the coding or something in those situations that are causing it to not actually accept the sponsor. Along with a few other ones that I've noticed as well. And I have mentioned that to them. The devs are listening. Like I said, if this episode does not prove that, or the update doesn't prove that, then you're hiding under a rock and you're not paying attention. So we're going to try one more tandem battle here in this MX-5, and then we'll do a full another build episode on this MX-5 when we just start throwing money and parts at it and try and get it up there. Maybe to a, a Mad Mike uh, Mad Mike with that status for this car. So a little quick update video for you guys on what I found with the uh, steering issues. Ooh, this is a better run. This is a nice run up on the wall. A little left for break there. Oh, this angle is going to kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, uh, we stopped drift because of lack of angle. And also, it went, into the, it went into a higher gear. So, I accidentally uh, went up in a gear when I didn't want to. Otherwise, that was a very nice, uh, very nice bank run. I was very happy with that bank run, actually, but unfortunately, lack there of power or being in the wrong gear kind of uh, kicked me in the butt there. So, we're going to try and chase this down, see if we can't get a good chase, even though it looks like he may have tanked the wall. And then, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me on the hub. If you guys have questions, you guys are more than welcome to message me on the hub. Like I will respond to you when I uh, log into the game and check the messages on the hub and stuff like that. So. It's very, it's a very good thing to have the hub out here, where we can see other people. If you guys are following me, I've uh, posted a few funny, funny clips with you know the barrel roll incident and my new paint on the S15. When I reveal new paints and stuff like that, I will probably reveal them either on episode here or on the hub or both, and uh, as well as videos and stuff like that. Torque drift is going to uh, be getting better and better every single day that they uh that we play it so the more we play it the more we figure out the more they're going to add the more things that will come into the game so we're probably going to take this win if we didn't then he had a baller chase run and we will watch it um but that being in back and grassroots is very uh very very interesting to say the least so like i said some new updates steering differences and changes some uh new sponsors came into the mix uh, top one oil, I think, is another one too. Um, MX5 is starting the build here. If we could stay tuned for another app, you know, build episode on this MX5 to continue the build on the MX5. So before we go out of here, we're going to uh, 
check the hub. 71 people following us. And uh, I got to drop. Or 69 people. I'm following 69 people and we have 71 followers. So I clicked on the wrong. So we're going to uh, drop a follower to these guys. Thank you for following me on the hub. Influence is going up. You guys are liking the content that I'm putting up on the hub. So that's going to do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift. Just a quick update video for you guys here on this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed it. More videos coming out next week. Live stream as well. So if you guys want to come in and live tandem battle with myself, make sure you guys stop back to the channel and check Instagram and the hub for all the information on what's going to happen. So until next time, guys, like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.